Oh, my God! It looks like the Wii U specs have finally been discovered! Ah! <laughs> and apparently, it's actually on a graphics card of an ATI 4700! Ah! Ah! That's exactly what we said it was before. So, in other words, new information just came out that didn't teach us anything. Now, I actually have in my computer a Radeon HD 4600 series, okay? Now, with that being said, if you look here, frame, this is actually Guild Wars 2, okay? This is Guild Wars 2, frames per second, about 56, slightly under, oh, 57 now, slightly under um, 60 frames per second. We're running at 720p right now, and when you're running at 1080p, you get about 23 frames per second. And, um, 10, um, and it's at, excuse me, it's at 1080p. Now, with that comparison, there's a couple of things to talk about. Number one, when it comes down to that comparison, the card that was located within the Wii U is a 4700 series. The card I just showed you was a 4600 series. And the 700 series is about two to five times more powerful than the 600 series. There's that, and there's also the simple fact that the 700 of um, the 6,000 of uh, the 4,700 series that's located within the Wii U isn't that tailor-made to work with the Wii U. In other words, you guys all know that when it comes down to hardware, any hardware that's tailor-made specifically to work with um, hardware is a, going to work a lot better than hardware that is tailor-made to work with generic stuff. You know? And that's exactly what the car that I, have, that I currently have is all about. I mean, and then there's also other things too, you know, such as, you know, Nintendo pretty much making sure that they added in extra features so that the card would in fact work, you know, with next generation things here. But that's pretty much the case. 1080p, 60 frames per second, not a problem for a card that's about two to five times as powerful as a card that I just showed you that can do 1080p and slightly below 30 frames per second. That should not be an issue. It really shouldn't be an issue with any of this, to be perfectly honest with you. But here's the thing. Why do we care so much about specs? I mean, I'll be honest with you. Why is that even a factor? It should be about the games. It should never be about specs. You don't even know what specs are about, like RxL. RxL don't know shit about shit about shit, nevertheless computers. So what the hell are we arguing about specs for? You know? I'm just being honest. I mean, it's supposed to be all about the games. Yet it seems that gamers seem to have forgotten that. And the, oh, and the, the, the sad part about it is that the gamers who forgot about it are the gamers who are apparently located within this YouTube community or the internet in general. You are the ones who seem to have forgotten that you bought a gaming system to play games. No, apparently you bought a gaming system to look at the specs. If you want to look at specs, then you need to be a PC gamer. Because there is no reason whatsoever that any console gamer should be looking at specs. At all. The only, you need to be focused on what games Nintendo is going to bring out and when are they going to bring them out. If you want to think about third party, that's fine. I personally don't get third party, um, I personally don't get like Nintendo systems or PlayStation or anything. I don't get those things for third parties. I don't. I get them strictly for the exclusive. That's the reason why I got a PlayStation in there and a Wii U in there. Because I'm so interested in games like God of War. I'm interested in games like Uncharted. You know, I'm interested in games like Mario Kart. I'm interested in games like Legend of Zelda, Metroid. I'm not interested in third party games. If you want to speak about specs, get yourself a goddamn PC. Because there's no reason whatsoever to talk about specs when you're a console gamer. Because it's not like you can change it. It's not like you can do something about it. So shut up.
I'm not I'm being honest. I'm just being honest. And I mean, to be more frank, specs don't mean anything. Let's go ahead and take a look at especially on me how good the system is. It has nothing to do with that. Let me go ahead and explain it to you. Third generation um consoles, right? Nintendo. Gen I mean, I mean Nintendo, uh, Sega Master System. Sega Master System was actually more powerful than the actual Nintendo Entertainment System. But guess who won? Nintendo. The next generation came out, fourth generation, I believe it was, uh, give me a second, I believe it was uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, half of it, that's all, um, and a couple other ones out there, including Neo Geo, which, by the way, the Neo Geo was the most powerful, was the most powerful, and yet, it is the one that failed. We can go on to the next one, I mean, the list is going on, and the next one, um, the, what was it, Nintendo 64, was in fact the most powerful system. Did it win the console war? No, it didn't. Who won? PlayStation. Next generation after that, it was PlayStation 2 versus the Dreamcast versus the GameCube versus the Xbox. Who won that one? The PlayStation 2, which, by the way, was the weakest system. Last but not least, we. PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, who won the one? We. Which was the worst? Which was the weakest system? Specs don't mean anything. When it comes down to it, it's all about how good the games are. I don't understand why you guys can't get that through your thick noggins. Uh, what was it? Uh, Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy has pretty much outsold uh, Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 have both outsold most, if not all, of the games that were actually available this, well, last generation. Yet, the fact that remains is that Despite proof, despite 100% irrefutable factual evidence, as you guys like to say, you still hold on to bullshit such as specs. Are you kidding me? You know? But I guess the only thing I can say is that, you know, eventually, you know, you guys will figure it out. Then again, maybe I'm wrong because the same history that teaches us that specs have nothing to do with how good a console really is, is the same exact history that proves that gamers on the internet will never learn anything. You'll always fall for the same shit, you'll always do the same shit that you always do. It's time for some logic, people. I'm just saying. Let's think about it for a second. But if the one thing history has told us about gamers on the internet is that you rather hate on something than learn about anything. I'm out.